Joe is a guy from the city. Jane's a real country girl. Ever thought of swapping lives for the weekend? Imagine doing another kid's chores. Playing someone else's games. How about getting to eat what other kids eat? Here's the challenge. Take two kids from two very different lives. Switch places for a whole weekend. And you have a swap. I challenge you to fly a plane. I challenge you to make a dessert. I challenge you to an archery match. The ultimate life experience. Swap TV. Hi, I'm Aiden Garonski. I'm 13 and I'm a magician. I've done 200 birthday parties and Christmas occasions and other things like that, but I like to do close-up magic for myself. When I was really little, my grandfather, he uh, did a small magic show for my birthday party and I liked it. So at Christmas, I, he gave me a magic kit and so I've just been doing stuff ever since. Hi, my name is Carl Ludwig. I'm 13 years old and I play sledge hockey and I play wheelchair basketball. Um, my disability is spina bifida. It affects my back and um, it's a spinal cord injury. Some other kids that are disabled, they may see their disability as being like um, a disadvantage or something, but I take advantage of the things that I can do and not of what I can't do. I don't know much about any of these sports, so I've never even tried hockey, let alone done it in a sledge. I play basketball and I can ride a unicycle, but I've never been in a wheelchair. I'll be a little nervous about it at first, but I think I'll be able to perform in front of an audience and like that'll probably break through some of my nervousness and I might get used to that kind of thing. I'm pretty excited because I think the swap is going to be a good experience. Um, I think doing magic tricks and stuff will, will be pretty fun and I think I'll have a good time with it. Hi Carl, Hi. how are you? I'm Pleased to meet you. I'm Heather. I'm Aiden's mom. This is Aiden's little brother, Colin. And that's Aiden's dad, Mike. How are you doing Carl? Good to see you. Okay, here's my brother Aiden's room, where you're gonna be staying this weekend. Cool. Don't know if you've ever heard of them, devil sticks. It's really weird what you do, kind of use it like that. I'm not very good at it, so I'm not gonna do that. And um, this is one of Aiden's magic briefcases. I'm not supposed to show you inside this, but I guess I could. Now, do you know how to tie a square knot? Uh, no. <laughs> well, you go right over left and left over right, and you've got a square knot. <laughs> I think the quality that'll help me most is persistence. It's probably going to take a lot of tries before I can do anything right. You should have brought your weights to work out in the car while you're on your way there. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Aiden. How are you? Good. And you're Carl's dad? Yeah. You want to come upstairs and see Carl's room? Sure. As you can see, he's a bit of a hockey fan. Some of his trophies, he's tried baseball, he's uh, done wheelchair racing. Okay, so this is where you'll be staying tonight. Well, sledge hockey. Same thing as hockey, but for disabled. As you can see, we're sitting down, not standing. We have blades on the bottom of our sledges, two sticks instead of one. Rules, they're practically the same. So you, you ready to play? Yeah, I think so. I think I'll be able to push myself around in sledge hockey, but I don't think I'll be able to shoot very well. I'm not that strong. Wow, well, Carl, 
you ever been in a magic shop before? Uh, no, it's first time. First time? Well, let me show you around. The main source of learning magic is generally books. Also, there's magic lectures, magic magazines, things like that. What sort of tricks are you thinking we might, uh, you might want to pursue? Um, I don't know, I guess like card tricks or like, I don't know, making things disappear. Great, let's go learn some magic. Stick this over your head, see if it'll fit. Okay. Like that. Girl, I'm scared. <laughs> it's hard enough to get the juicy on with all this. Let me introduce you to a gentleman who runs the store. This is Richard. Carl, nice to meet you. So you want to get into magic? Okay, I have a few things I'm going to show you that are going to be good for a beginner, so you'll be able to do them. Just let me get something for you. This is the world famous standing straight up in the air rope trick. Watch it, it's fantastic. Don't blink, you'll miss it. Pretty exciting, eh? No, I'm kidding. Look, I can actually make it stand up like this. Snap like this and it falls over. But that's not the best part. The best part is if you spin the rope once, twice, three times like this, pass it through your hand, it becomes a nice handkerchief that you can then place in your pocket and you're ready to go on with your next trick. Something else I can show you that's really, really good. You have a little coloring book like this and what happened was I bought this, I brought it home, I had a look at it, all the pages were blank. Now what good is a coloring book without pictures? You know a magic word by any chance? Uh, if you do abracadabra and a little wave, pictures appear inside, just like that. And that's what's known as the magic coloring book. But you have to be careful because the colors could disappear on you. And when you start your next show, the page might be blank and you'll have to start all over again. And that's a real good one. That's easy for you to perform as well. Went out and bought myself a brand new deck of cards. Look at that, no faces and no backs. You know what people say to me when I do this? They say, how do you know that's the face, that's the back? You say, well, I do a little bit of magic. If I was going to put faces, this is the side I would put them on. See, I would put faces here, and I would put backs over here. Watch, I'll show you what I mean. Just a little riffle like that, and you can have backs and faces. And you can have what looks like a regular pack of cards. So, Carl, now you've seen some magic, what type of things might you be interested in? Um, I think I like the cards in the rope trick. The cards in the rope trick. Okay. Well, let me get those for you. And here you go, Carl. There's your tricks to get you started as a magician. Thank you. Yeah, great. Well, Carl, now that you've got the tricks, we need to work on them. Yeah. We don't want anybody to know how they're done, so come with me. I'll we'll work over here. All right, you guys ready to go on? Yeah. Aiden, I can. How's it going? Hard to shake with gloves on, huh? All right, what we'll do is we'll get you out on a sledge there. You're going to be a little bit tippy. That's okay. That's normal. Now, that just learned the first thing. This thing does tip. All right, you're in. Feels good. What you want to do is put it down like this. So put it into the ice until your hands reach behind you. And then turn. If you want to turn to your right, you push your left one more than your right, lean into it a bit. Turn, turn, turn. Oh. How do I stop? How do you stop? You put your stick underneath yeah. and you lift. I'm feeling good. It's really fun to try, but it's really hard on your arms. I think magic's pretty cool. It's um, it's hard to understand, but it's fun to do. The coolest trick um, that I saw today was probably with the cards. What my brother would usually do or lead into this, he'd say, oh, I've been teaching my brother a trick. And what you do, since you're the magician, take the wand. And you wave the wand around and hit me in the neck. Ow, my neck, okay. So then he said, don't worry, my grandfather is a chiropractor. I'd sit down on a stool. He'd take the box, place it upon my head, twist it around. Um, I think Colin's a great teacher. He's really good at magic, and um, I think he'll help me out a lot, just as he does for his brother in the performances. All right, we're going to do some red line, blue line drills. Everybody spread out. All right, go! 
I think that the hardest part of sledge hockey is really pushing with the sticks and controlling the puck because you have to adjust your grip really fast to shoot. Aiden, I challenge you to play sledge hockey with my team. All right, you guys ready to scrimmage? Ready, Chuck? Michael? Everybody, uh, we're gonna be having pizzas over at Carl's place. Are anybody interested? You're all invited. This is the grand finale of my brother's magic shows. Now, what happens in this trip is he tilts the box, and as you can see, there's nothing in the box. Close it, go a little bit, and then tap on the lid, magic wand. Open it up, and out comes the magic assistant. Now, I'll show you how this trick is done. Carl, I challenge you to make my brother appear out of thin air. All right, this is my first big break, so I hope I can get this to work. I'm going to try the trick that Colin did before, all right? so. I'm gonna turn him around, give it a little tap. I'm going to attempt to, as you can see, Colin is in there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make um, Colin appear into an obviously empty box, which I'll prove to you right now. That is clearly empty right there. Hocus pocus. And ta-da! There's Carl. I think Carl's going to do really well tomorrow performing in front of a crowd because um, we've given him a lot of stuff to do and he's done all of it really well. Hey everybody, pizza's here. This one's got peppers, onions and stuff. That's got pepperoni and the other one's got tomato and pineapple. So what do, you, what do you think of Aiden being on the ice today? How do you think he did? Good. Good. Really good. So, so you're ready for a signing, you know? Sounds good. Is that I'll play one of your games. Anybody want garlic sauce? I know it's a dangerous question. I think Aiden had a really good day out there. Uh, Give him a chance to sort of try something a little bit different than, than most kids get to do. So to get to appreciate, I think, the fact that uh, he has to use a little bit of upper body strength for a change. And I think Aiden had a good chance to see today the abilities of the physically disabled and finding out that there's a lot of things that they can do, and it is very competitive out there. Yum, yum. Forks and knives. Yeah. I'd like some mustard with us, too. Would you like secrets? Yeah. You're not going to tell any of the secrets you'll learn today, are you? No. Because uh, you know what happens then, don't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You ever been to Busker Fest before? Um, I went to one in Ottawa once, yeah. Yeah. Oh, this one's cool. This one in Toronto is at two different locations. So you learned some new magic skills today. Yeah. Do you have anything you could show us? Um, sure. I think Aiden's family, they're, they're really nice people. Colin, his brother, he... He really helped me out a lot with doing tricks and stuff. And they also, they just made, like, they made me feel like I just fit in, both the parents and Colin. I will turn it into a kitchen. Hey. Very good. I'm feeling tired right now. I'm looking forward to wheelchair basketball tomorrow because of everything new, like having to dribble a basketball while pushing a wheelchair. Okay, Aiden, it's time to go up for bed. I think I'm a little nervous and afraid and excited all, all together about tomorrow um, because like it's nerve wracking but yet I think I'll, I'll end up having a good time anyways. I think I'll call it a night. Hi there. 
So Aiden, I heard you did some sledge hockey yesterday. <laughs> yeah. How are your shoulders feeling? Really tired. Oh good, they'll be even more sore after you do this today. <laughs> So in the wheelchair basketball, the rules are you can touch your wheels twice before you have to dribble, pass, or shoot. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to hold your ball out like this, and you're going to roll the ball back to you like this. Okay? And once you've mastered that, you throw the ball out in that same direction so the ball comes back to you. See how the ball comes back to me? So then, and that was actually very good, you're going to throw it out far and push to the ball. Okay. And grab the ball and put it on your lap. Perfect. Okay, so that's first up from dribbling. So we're gonna go straight down this way. You're gonna push the ball and pick it up. Make sure you push in between. That's perfect. Ready to load. Okay, what's first? Let's go straight in. Here, Connor, I need up. this. It's gonna be your magic vest. So we're gonna load on this end. Okay. All right, I'll pick that up. All right. Let's go. If I could describe my feeling in one word, um, it would probably be, I don't know, there's a whole bunch of feelings that I'm feeling right now. This will be like the first time I would perform in front of like a large group of people. I'm expecting that this Busker Fest will be fun. There'll be a lot of people singing, dancing, like a lot of live in crowds and a lot of people there. Okay, Aiden, well, you've got most of the dribbling down pat, so now what we're gonna do is practicing how to pick the ball up um, once it's on the ground. So come up beside it, grab the ball, make it kiss the wheel and the ball will come up naturally. There, now you got it. Now, if you want to get complicated, you can try it with your left hand also. That's it, Aiden, very good. First time with the left hand. So now you can dribble, you can pick up the ball, and now it's time to learn how to shoot. You are a natural. <laughs> so do you want to do it again, Aiden? I don't think we're gonna get that in again. Oh, you're right on line. Excellent, oh, you are a natural. So do you want to try a couple layups? Hold the ball on your lap and just push in. And then you put it up and the ball goes in if you're lucky. Excellent, great job. Aiden, I challenge you to play a game of bump with one of my teammates. You ready to play against one of Carl's teammates? Sure. Okay, here's Shane. Hi, I'm Shane. Nice to meet you. Okay, so guys, we're gonna play bump. Um, you'll each need a ball for bump. And bump is okay. a shooting competition. So what happens is you'll both start off at the foul line. So Shane will shoot the ball, and you basically want to get the ball in before him. I'm doing OK at bump, but Shane's a lot better than me. So if I'm lucky, and maybe I'll win a game. The hardest part about playing bump was probably the starting shot, getting it in from the foul line because it's so far and you can't use your legs or anything to jump. The best part of the game was sinking, sinking any shots that uh, I put up because it, it feels good to know that you can get some in. I think Shane's amazing at, at bump. I thought I did good at my last challenge, but not, not very good because Shane's so much better than me. But I had lots of fun in my last challenge. So. So Eden, how do you feel about playing a real game? Do you think you can handle it? I I think I could. I don't know if I can handle it. I'm ready for it though. Hey Carl, how are you? Good, Colin. How are you? Good. So, have you practiced your tricks? Yeah. Yeah, are you all ready to go? Yeah, I think so. I'm excited about performing, but um, at the same time, I'm a little nervous, but but I, I'm gonna, uh, I'm just gonna go out there and give it my own. We actually got a uh, special gonna come out in a minute. But I thought, in the meantime, I would teach everybody a quick trick. Would you like to learn a magic trick? I expected it to be like I was performing in front of a much larger group, like even bigger than than what, what's here, so it, it, it's, I feel better about it now. Red, you're gonna shoot that way. White, you're gonna shoot that way. To set up for the jump ball and ultra basketball, you wanna get as close to the white line as you can. Like that pass, baby. Like that pass. Cinder, Cinder. Basketball is a lot more fun than I expected, and it, I actually had more fun than playing any other basketball I ever have. So, well, they all have really strong arms. 
I think Jeanette's a really good teacher. She showed me how to do everything. I got two baskets in the game, and I was really, I was really happy whenever I sunk one. Carl, I challenge you to perform at the Bosker Fest. Right now, we have a special guest. He's a young man who is not really a magician, but is just starting with magic. He's very keen on it. He's very enthusiastic. Here he is. We're going to welcome the magic of Carl. Hello, everybody. I'm the amazing Carl, and I'm here with my assistant, Colin. And, OK, um, my first trick will be to, um, with this rope, I will make it stand on end. All right? Are you all impressed? No, probably not. How about that? I was a little nervous, so I did a few things a little differently than I did when we were practicing and warming up for it. But overall, I think I did an OK job. The best part of my show was when we did the neck breaking trick. I think the most rewarding part is when they shoulder support and just give you a good hand. Like, that made me feel pretty good. So, Aiden, I think you did a pretty good job today. What do you guys think? Great! Yeah, great. great. So, Aiden, just to thank you for having come out today and trying the sport of wheelchair basketball, we have a t shirt and a basketball so for you. Thank you very much for the game and letting me play it, and also the basketball and the t shirt. Thanks a lot. Well, congratulations on your first performance. Thank you. Well done. Good job. Good Thanks job, Thanks for Ed. everything, guys. Good job. You well, hope you have fun. What are you going to do? I think I'm going to go do a little busking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, you must be four? Yeah, you must be eight. Eight, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's up? Not too much. So how's the squad? It was great, I, yeah. Just finished playing wheelchair basketball and stuff. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. that, yeah, that must have been cool. Your arms <laughs> sore? Yeah, pretty sore. Oh, yeah? <laughs> My favorite part of this weekend would probably be wheelchair basketball, just because it was so much more team involved. I had lots of fun with everyone, and I, and I was really uh, into it. The only things that I think are different between mine and Carl's life or that he has a disability and in some ways that affects him getting around and he plays different sports than me. The best part of my whole weekend was probably overcoming my nervousness and performing here at the Buskers. The hardest part of my weekend was also probably performing at the Buskers because it took a lot of courage to go up there and do it. I don't think that my uh, disability affected the way um, I experienced the swap simply because I've been able to cope with the way things are and then just modify them so I can do them to my best of my ability and then it's still a challenge for me, as it would be for an able-bodied person. 